Hey guys, Ray from Love you RV. Just wanted to show you a cool little overnight spot we just spent a few days in. It's right smack dab in the middle of the Mojave Desert here. Um, actually, it's along the old Route 66. You can see Interstate 40 coming along here um, between Needles and Barstow. Well, there's a little kind of a off-road here. I think it's National Trails Highway, but that's the old Route 66. Uh, down here we have Joshua Tree National Park and 29 Palms. So it's kind of like really in the middle of nowhere here. Uh, there's a little town called Amboy. Uh, let me just get a closer look here. Yeah, right down here, this Amboy town. That was an old kind of crossroads. There's a an old hotel gas station kind of left over from way back in the day. They still kind of run a bit of a, a tourist industry there. Over here, there's a salt. They create salt. There's salt salt ponds and things. Make kind of actual pretty colors. But uh, where we stayed is this place called Amboy Crater. Just zoom in here. You can see it's a crater just sticking out of the desert. And there's a, a lava field around it. And just over here, uh, it's a national uh, natural landmark. But they have a couple parking areas. There's a main parking area here and an overflow here. And they allow uh, overnight parking in those. Um, and so I, there was a couple RVs in this one. So I went down and parked in this one. <clears throat> anyway, as I left, I was actually talking to a ranger about the area. And uh, he says a lot of people come in the summer and they, you know, they try to hike out to this uh, crater and they just don't know how desolate and dry and hot it can be and they, they end up getting into trouble. He actually says a lot of times what happens is they get out around the crater and on the way back, the it's kind of depressed. The land is depressed in a depression in areas and you can't see the parking lot. They end up seeing the town and start walking that way and sometimes you'll find like bodies over here. <laughs> anyway, I decided not to hike out to the crater when we were there. Turned out it was California was kind of having a bit of a heat wave and daytime it was around uh, getting up near 90 degrees. It was very dry. Humidity was down 10% and, and Ann can't currently hike that far so I didn't want to just head out in the desert all by myself. So maybe another time when it's a little cooler I'll be able to get out there. But there is a trail. It's about a one mile out and then I think it's you climb up you can climb up onto the the um little volcano here and walk around. It's about a mile to walk around and a mile back. And I think you can probably get down in it, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's just go to some footage on the ground so I can show you the overnight area and the parking. This is uh, maybe 50 miles sort of north of uh, 29 Palms and then between Barstow and Needles along the old Route 66, the side attraction. It's BLM now and in 75 this sign says it was uh, designated a natural landmark as it's one of the youngest volcano uh, lava fields in the U.S. It says, sign says, last eruption was about 500 years ago. So, not very long in geological time. Anyway, we're just kind of doing a little bit of stopover camping on our way to another area. And they have parking lots here. We're actually in the day use one. There's another one that's kind of overflow. We found a nice little spot to snug into here for a couple nights. Enjoy the peace and quiet, other than it's right near some train tracks, so you do get a little bit of train noise. But at night, it's very dark skies. You're, there's no major cities anywhere around. Let's walk up to this gazebo up here, sort of a little viewpoint. Give you a better look at the surrounding lava fields. So they do have a trail out to the the crater out there. I think they say it's about a mile out there, mile back, and then you can actually climb up and walk around the rim. If 
from uh, what I've read, there's just a big uh, kind of hole in the top. Nothing fascinating, but you get some good views. Like I say, it's very quiet until the trains go by. There's quite a few uh, trains that go back and forth along here. Yeah, over this way you can see uh, another RV that's in what they call the overflow parking area. And if I look down the road there is actual Amboy. Which has some interesting history. I'll link to a page if you want to explore it, but there's a some hotel hotel and inn or something and cafe. Famous Roy's Hotel Cafe sign on Route 66. So a lot of people come along here and stop. For that reason if they're doing the Route 66 stuff. There's also some type of a salt mine where they make salt nearby. But uh, it's real kind of middle of nowhere place. Nice stopover if you're passing through the kind of back country of California desert here. I think we're right on at the Mojave Mojave Trails National Monument. There's the little parking lot here. They have RV parking. But I went and there was a place to register for hiking and in that it, it you put your name and it also you could check off camping. So I think you're allowed to camp on the pavement. Don't quote me on that, but it seems to be the deal. They just don't want you going and, and running around on the on the off the pavement because I guess it is a National Historic Area, so they don't want a bunch of uh, tire tracks and stuff. Anyway, cool spot. Enjoyed a couple uh, nice nights here. Lots of stars. It's actually getting to be mid-February and it's a bit of a heat wave in California. Daytime highs here were up in the in the mid 80s and right now it's uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. It's already about 70 degrees Another view of the parking area here fairly large not many people come here I imagine uh, Dark sky nights maybe a lot of uh, astrophotographers might show up or People usually seem to come during the day or the cooler hours for a hike. And then here's the registration form. It says it's managed by the Needles Office of the BLM. And there it says check all that apply and it has camping under there. So I imagine uh, camping is okay here. At least we never even saw anybody. We were here two days and never saw an official vehicle. Looks like maybe people tent camp around here. By the way, just as we were leaving the morning, we were packing up a BLM Ranger for the area came by and I asked him and he confirmed that uh, I was okay to be uh, camping in this location. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone. Till next time, Ray from Love You RV. Cheers folks.